Okay, we're going to look at the lateral aspect of the knee, which is like next to the lateral elbow, one of my favorite areas for palpation because there's so much in such a little area. So when you're looking at the lateral aspect of the knee, you want to get to the superior tib-fib joint. You want to palpate that lateral pull of the patella. You want to make sure that you can find and palpate the joint line as well. Remember that in the clinical practice guideline, joint line tenderness is one of the indicators for a meniscal problem. So make sure you know where the joint line is to be able to palpate it. Also, when you find the superior tib-fib joint, right behind it would be the peroneal nerve. Remember, that splits, or the fibular nerve, into anterior and posterior. So when it splits there, that's where you could, if it's a tension point, that's where you could have a tenels. So palpation can help in both of those areas. If you thought it was the peroneal, you can go into your straight leg raise, Added bonus, try not to add that. That's, that's advanced level right there. So do your straight leg raise, plantar flex and invert, or maybe even adduct to do your neural tension. The lateral collateral ligament crosses the joint, but it comes from the superior tib-fib. You, when it crosses the joint, you'll be able to palpate the joint line and then you'll see where you can't palpate the joint line anymore. So that's where you know your lateral collateral ligament is. So that's where you could do your stress testing of the ligament. Now you could also do it in standing. Remember, there's two bands, so you can do it in extension and then you can bend it at 45 degrees, looking for reproduction of pain. Also, in this area, the gastrox and hamstrings cross the area. So they may be painful on palpation, but you would do resisted testing to see if that was a potential source of pain. Looking at the hamstrings, in a more lengthened position, and go ahead and gently push down in me. I, I'm careful with the hamstrings and build up a little bit more. Sometimes people fire the hamstrings way too hard initially, especially in prone, and they'll tend to cramp, cramp up. Sometimes you can do it where you'll have the patient in this position and say, okay, can you gently push your heel down into the table, and you can palpate and see if that reproduces the pain as well. And then you can play around with the length tension relationship to see if it's in the inert tissue or if it's more in the tenomuscular area. Same with the, the gastrox, which you probably would have had the patient have pain with more of a heel raise. So we have locking and unlocking of the knee, right? And the, unlo the unlocking of the knee is done by popliteus which is an internal rotator, right? It internally rotates the tibia as you're unlocking it. So when you, in non-weight bearing, when you extend that external rotation happens and it locks. And so I can try to turn the foot out. So go ahead and turn into me and I can palpate, see if that reproduces the pain for popliteus. Remember that in this side, you could also have a posterior lateral corner injury. So then you would end up doing the dial test, looking for that 10 degree difference. So then go ahead and lie in your stomach. And you would do the dial test, looking to see if one foot is further out than the other. You can do a seated dial test prone dial test. The surgeon that I just talked to at the conference I spoke at, he likes the prone dial test. 
He said the seated one, it's harder to control the, the, the rotation, but if you feel like you can control the rotation, the hip rotation, then that should work out fine. Go ahead and lay on your back again. Remember the IT band crosses in this area too, and it gives off a retinaculum to the superior lateral pole of the patella. So you may have a patella femoral problem causing lateral pain. If that's the case, it will be painful with palpation. When you palpate it, the patella, and this is in the, the there was a recent clinical practice guideline for patella femoral pain, and one of the tests will be palpating the patella to see if you're feeling more of a tilt. So if you feel more surface of the patella medially than laterally, it's a lateral tilt, which would tend to indicate a patella femoral maltracking. Step test will also be uh, an indicator as well, plus some of the functional uh, single leg tests looking for that internal rotation. So as you can see, you can go through multiple structures on this lateral aspect of the knee and have many different ways to differentially diagnosis, di diagnose it. So just wanted to go through that because it's a great exercise in surface anatomy and also in uh, differential diagnosis.